Hey guys, it's the attack here. Sorry I haven't made a video in over a week. Uh, family went camping, you know, little vacation, other things. Uh, but I just wanted to come back to you here. Probably one of the things that I hear people my age and older talk about, youth don't really, they don't know, but cell phones. Like now, you know, Samsung. My wife has a Samsung and my friends all have iPhones, you know. It, it, I remember back in the early 90s, uh, my grandparents and parents got cell phones and I remember, only for emergency purposes, and they put it in their glove box, yeah, okay, and then, you know, they'd be at, like, the trailer or something, like, I can use my cell phone, but back then, it was expensive because you paid massive roaming charges from going from the city all the way up north, anyways. I just want to ask you guys, what was your first cell phone that you had? I mean, if you're young, it could be a brand new Samsung, you know, Galaxy S, 6 million, whatever the heck they're going to come out with next, or iPhone 52. Very creative, by the way, iPhone. Very PlayStation of you. But you know what I mean? It was very interesting, like, talking to people, and they'd be like, oh, this was my favorite phone. And, you know, we all have these glass, touchscreen, friggin' phones now, all of us. And I didn't, well, I didn't like that, I didn't, I didn't like this, I like the screen, but I like the slide phone, that was actually my favorite incarnation of the phone. And I remember talking to, like, my Uncle Bob, and he's like, I, I had a cell phone in the 80s, and you know, it was the one, like, Zach Morris, Saved by the Bell, huge friggin' brick phone, took up, like, your whole face. And then, you know, he said, oh, I also, at one point, he was selling uh, water purifiers back in the day. Before Britas were everywhere, you actually had to buy a contraption. I think it was b and L. I I think was the name of his company. Anyways, he worked for, and you'd put this metal canister beside your uh, sink, and it would take the water from your sink and purify it, and you'd be able to drink it, blah, blah, blah. But he said he needed a phone, because he was constantly on the road, and things were happening. So he ended up getting a bag phone. And I was like, a bag phone, oh my god, I've heard of those, you know, I've seen them, but I never used one. So that was kind of interesting. Um, one of the big things for me is uh, uh, I have fond memories of certain phones. Uh, I eventually switched to Samsung, long ago, flip phone days, I switched to Samsung. But my heart will always be with the Motorola Razr. I, I fell in love with that phone, I remember getting it, and it took me a while, because, you know, I was a teenager, I'm like, I'm going to save. By the way, 2004, that was a long time ago, it's crazy to think about. But at the time, it was like, oh, if you had a razor, you were cool, you know? The phone was sleek, the buttons were soft, they glowed in the dark, it had a really good screen, recording system. Uh, I remember somebody dropped a whole vase of water on my phone, and, you know, I was going to put it in a bag of rice, and we ended up going out for a long day some buddies and I fell asleep and I woke up the next morning it was dry, it worked fine there's other people's phones that they dropped in the water it was gone like, see ya, new phone for you but uh, I still have some of my old phones I'd have my razor, unfortunately I gave it to my brother who went through like 14 phones and of course destroyed that one at the end of his you know, whatever I've never broke a phone that's been destroyed, I've had to have it replaced the phone I have currently my daughter dropped on the balcony and the screen's cracked, and I had the screen replaced. But I never actually had to go out and replace a phone. I was never that person. Every time I had a phone, I worked hard for that phone. You know what I mean? It wasn't given me my parents, it wasn't my grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends. I wasn't, you know, privileged enough like that. I had to work for my phone. So, you know, you had a part-time job. You take your money. You want to, you know, take care of that, because who's going to replace it? You. But uh, I remember saving up for the razor, and even, this sounds weird, but back in the day, I was living in one of the towns in high school I was in, and the uh, well, city almost basically now. They have a, a, a sewer system, and you could get in the sewer system through this tunnel, you had the gate and whatever, and my buddies had cut the gate and decided, well, we're going to go in there and hang out, and maybe call them the, tu the tunnels and whatnot, and they called them checkpoints. Every so often, you'd hit a manhole, and you'd look up, and the manhole would be like two feet above you, because you're kind of somewhat crawling, let's say. And then it would get bigger and bigger and bigger, deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. You got under the sewer, sewer tunnel system. And eventually you'd look up. It'd be like 100 something feet above you. You know, and everyone's got their phone out. I don't got reception. Uh, I don't have reception. My razor did. Uh, I think I was. Let's say. 
hundred and five feet maybe under the ground. Like that ladder went up, blah, blah, blah. You could barely see. My buddy climbed it and he still couldn't get the mantle off. Stupid things you do when you're kids. Looking back now, I'm like, should have been arrested, dumbasses. But, you know, you do things like that. Um, but I, I don't have my razor, but I do have some phones I kept. Here's the Samsung flip phone that I had from back in the day. It's funny. It's blue, but you could take this case and front panel off and also have red. And we'll switch it up. <laughs> I'm like, look at the size of the screen. Oh, there we are. And, uh, the keyboard. You had to double it so it's like two ABC. You push it three times to get C. You know, um, soft little edge thing that they started putting around the buttons so that it made the button seem a little softer. Oh, yeah, I like this phone, but the times, right? Uh, I had a Blackberry. I, had a, I can't remember which one it was. That was the big jump. I liked the keyboard. I really liked the keyboard, especially, you know, on the bold and the curve. But they were big, and so was the Pearl. I didn't like that. I liked the compact idea. So my next phone was also a Samsung, as you can see. I'll show you. Right? But the beauty about this one is it had a keyboard, you know, and it had like a proper keyboard. Like, look, everything, dark car, like every little thing was on here, it would glow. Um, buttons are soft, you know. Look at the camera on that, even the speaker, like, just, uh, you know. I, I love this phone. I still miss this phone because of the keyboard. It sounds funny. The screen's what? Well, like, say, a quarter of the size of my cell phone screen. So that's, you know. What was your first cell phone? Did you even have a cell phone until you were an adult? I know a lot of people got them as kids for safety and whatnot. But, uh, what was your cell phone? And which one do you have fond memories of the old ones? I want to show you guys something. Check this out. So this, I brought up on my tablet here to show you. Sorry for the light. Is going mobile. The evolution of the cell phone. You see here, 1982. You know what I mean? That to me doesn't really look like a cell phone. It kind of looks like uh, what do you call it? Oh, it's dying. What do you know? Sorry about that. It kind of looks like a uh, radio. And then here's the one here, the 84 Motorola Dynatac 8000X. This is the one that people think about when they think of, like, Saved by the Bell, Zach Morris. You know, then look at 87, it got a little better. Look at that. That's like the one, the 89 Motorola MicroTac. That, to me, reminds me of in the 90s, they had candy cell phones, and that's exactly what it looked like. Like, literally like that. And then we have the 1992 Nokia 1011. Look at the antenna, I just want to point that out. My first phone was a Nokia, I think I got it at what, 95, 97? And it had a solid, solid antenna at the top that didn't move. These ones still pulled out, but this one didn't. And then like, look at here, 93, Bell South IBN Simon Personal Communicator. Now people talked this up and down. It looks like a, I don't know, a Coleco joystick. You know, and you have the Ericsson in 2000. Wow, look at that. It looks stupid now. And here's the Blackberry. That's not even the one I remember with the trackball, so that's interesting. My all-time favorite, the beautiful, sleek design Motorola Razor. Amazing picture for the time, amazing sound. I used to love when you turn the phone on and would say, Hello, Moto. That's pretty good. Um, and then, of course, look at 2007. You know, Apple iPhone. And that's the kind of things we went to. From that to that. It's kind of insane to think about when you look back on it, but I, uh, you know, that's progression. That's the way humans work. But I'm just all curious what was your favorite cell phone? That's the first thing. Was your first cell phone if you had one? Or your parents, or grandparents, or friends' cell phone? You know, there's a lot of people going around now. Uh, talking about these old phones and I was actually curious because I didn't get to have them all obviously like we're not all privileged I was wondering how different ones worked. I remember my buddy he had one uh, he'd push kind of like you do now with the flashlight button and a built-in flashlight in the back 
that flashlight uh, was perfect for doing things. Like you could just look under the couch, everything, just boom, quick. And I thought, oh, that's cool. Now that's in everybody's phone. Back then, that was a big thing. It's kind of like, you know, the mic phones. The microphone outside the phone, like, and it was supposed to be for like construction workers and stuff like that, and you run over the truck. But like, there were so many variations. And then, you know, the Bluetooth sets came out. I was like, all right, look at my whole headset attached to my phone through a cord. And then people were like, oh, now we gotta get rid of that cord. The video game's all over again, no cords. So then they came with the Bluetooth headset that goes in your ear, and it kind of came around. And then it went smaller, and you got like the jaw bones and all those fancy ones. And now you look, and it's like, look at the earbuds people use just for music. It's insane. So it's great to be back, guys. I hope you guys had a great week last week. And I hope you're all staying safe, you know, loving one another. And I just want to say, remember, subscribe, like, comment. Because we need comments. We need more comments. And when you're out there and you're looking around at things, you get that funny feeling inside. Remember, nostalgia is everywhere.